guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a vlog i do get quite a lot of requests on vlogs but the thing is i'm just a very private person like i struggle to vlog because i feel like i need to show a lot of things and i don't know that's just very hard for me to do but i'm gonna try and show just you know some things here and there so please bear with because my vlogs can be quite inconsistent like i'm not promising anything but i'll try my best right i do have a vlog where i showed you guys moving from nigeria to la and like the few things i did to settle in when i came so i would if you're watching this video then i've probably posted that video so please check that in the link below so like i said i do have a wedding on saturday so i just want to get glammed a little bit um, i'm gonna get my nails done because i am part of the short nails gang i mean it looks nice but i just feel like i need to just you know add some little extensions sorry about the noise i'm literally by the window so i can get good lighting so yeah um so i found this nails nail salon whilst i was walking the streets and it's literally one minute away from my apartment so that's like perfect um, my appointment is by 11 and now I think it's about 11, 10 50. So I'm just going to walk there. So I'm going to take you guys along with, um, my dress is already made. I made it in Nigeria and I just brought it with me. Totally random guys, but I don't know if you guys can notice the improvement in my skin. You probably can't, but my skin has improved so much. Like you see all those black spots, they were, um, from like, acne i had like terrible acne from nowhere and it was so frustrating because i was never one to suffer from acne like all i had was hormonal breakouts so just one or two pimples you know on my cheek and that was it and from nowhere guys i don't know i think my skin actually i know i don't what happened because when i turned 25 i literally started breaking out like all over so since march i haven't had the best skin um but i think this is the best my skin has been in a while so yeah i like i'm not complaining at all so i'm just trying to fade the dark spots which um i do have a routine but i'm still testing it out before i put it out there so <laughs> actually a very nice place um like i said it's very close to my house very convenient and this place is run by koreans and if you don't already know i absolutely love korean drama so yeah it was just very exciting for me because the lady that did my nails and toes she um, was quite young so we we're talking a lot about korean drama and my favorite korean actor and food and nigeria like it was just an amazing conversation and then she recommended that i did um gel x on my nails i've never heard of that before um so i was like oh what are the benefits and she said it doesn't damage the nail and it's quicker than the powder and acrylic and all that so i was like okay sure why not um but looking back the cons are it's more expensive and two it doesn't last as long um so yeah that kind of sucked but after like a week and a half it started falling off and it was quite expensive like for everything i paid 130 something dollars and um, plus tax of course um but yeah i probably look for like somewhere cheaper because i'm not a nail person naturally but if i do want to do it i don't want to be spending like 140 dollars just for my nails and toes you know so this is the next day this is my wedding look i really love this wig if you guys follow me on instagram you know that this is my go-to wig it's from rpg show i do have a detailed review already on my channel and my dress was made in nigeria 
So the wedding was set in like the mountains and please pardon the clips because I didn't actually plan to vlog. Um, when I got there I was just making videos for Instagram and when the wedding was almost over I realized how fun it was I actually should have um, vlogged. So yeah I just I'm just putting a bunch of my IG stories together and it was a very very beautiful wedding guys like it was an Igbo wedding but they had like the um, trad and the white wedding together if that makes sense and um, it was very rich in Igbo culture like honestly I have so much respect for Americans or oh, sorry for Nigerians um, or Igbos rather in the US because they really represent our culture they had the masquerades they had the dancers they had all the African aunties like it was really really lit so I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the clip and I'll speak to you guys soon hi guys so this is my vanity mirror set i don't think i've showed you guys this um but yeah i had that wardrobe fixed as you can see my box is on top and then i also got this storage thing for inside my wardrobe guys my wardrobe is such a mess right now because I haven't fully arranged stuff i just unpacked my box um but yeah so i ordered this from amazon it's like a makeup storage thing and then my spray bottles got this from target that's my camera um this is some pr package this is my sephora stuff i do have a haul i want to film that's my wig stand <laughs> And then my lights came in, my vanity mirror lights. Um, so I'm going to have these installed. It's actually smaller than I expected, it's like very tiny. I thought they were going to be super big. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to put them right here. My chair just came in and um, this is going to be for my vanity mirror. Um, once I assemble it, I'll show you guys the finished result. But... I'm super duper excited everything is coming together. This is the finished result. I have installed the lights and then also my chair has been set up. This is where I'll be doing all my makeup and everything and probably filming my videos. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Later on that day, I went to downtown LA. Um, it's like a marketplace. If you're in Nigeria, just think of somewhere that looks like Balogun Market. Obviously, it's not as chaotic as Balogun Market, right? But it has everything Balogun Market has. Um, so I got this Mexican stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it basically has corn, mayo, 
um, cheese, I believe, and pepper. So it was like, <laughs> it's a weird combo, but trust me, guys, it tastes so good. I wouldn't have it again, maybe like once in the next six months, but um, I just wanted to have a try and um, just to taste it because obviously I was exploring. And I also tried some other Mexican street food. So this strawberry drink that tasted amazing, it had like, um, it's like natural strawberry mixed with like milk and stuff. I don't know, but it just tasted like very creamy strawberry. And it did have the strawberry seeds in it, which I really liked. I love when I can like chew on something if I'm sipping anything. Um, and then I tried this seasoned mango. <laughs> like it was okay, like it was nice, but I had too much and my belly started to upset me a bit. But it just basically tastes like mango with um, not pepper, but like seasoning. You know like maybe Maggie and stuff I really don't know how to explain it I just feel like you have to try it out yourself later on that day I went to try some Korean barbecue quote-unquote I thought it was Korean barbecue but apparently it wasn't I think this was a Japanese restaurant so I had to cook all of this myself and I wasn't pleased I didn't like it at all don't worry later on in the video I'll show you guys the real Korean barbecue okay and the next couple of days or the next day, I'm not so sure, um, I decided to go take my scooter for a ride. Um, I don't know how to ride a scooter. I don't know how to ride a bicycle, but I'm willing to learn, okay? So I took the train. It was like three stops from my stop and it's like an open park. So I just basically was enjoying myself riding the scooter, falling off a couple of times. Um, but yeah, this is my first day, so don't judge me, guys. I think I'm way better right now. So <laughs> that was fun, though. Like, sometimes it's just good to get out in the open and just enjoy, you know, the scenery. Now, this is the real Korean barbecue, guys. So I decided to go for the all-you-can-eat, which is 23 99 So you have the option of choosing any um, meat of your choice. Um, it's like a buffet all you can eat kind of service so the first thing they did was to serve like these little um, food thingies in little um, bowls and then they served some salad the salad was so good like so 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 good oh my gosh I don't know what kind of sauce they drizzled on it but it was amazing <laughs> I know it looks plain but trust me it tasted really good so the whole idea of Korean barbecue is you have to like cook the food yourself but it's just a bunch of meat. So here is the soju. If you watch Korean drama, you know what this is. I had a little sip. It was actually very nice, but it's strong. So I didn't even bother stressing myself to have any more. I just took a little bit just so I can say I've tasted soju. So I chose um, beef brisket, um, chicken, and I think um, spicy beef bulgogi or something like that listen i don't know guys i'm not japanese or korean rather so um yeah they helped us cook it the first time and you know you just have to keep watching it and turning it so the briskets cooks really quickly because it's like very thin slices of meat however the chicken took a while which makes sense and also the bulgogi took um a while as well so yeah um i had rice on the side to eat my meat with and also like different sauces so guys this stuff is amazing like after this day i've been back there three times that's how good it is and it's all you can eat for only 23 dollars guys so yeah i would 100 percent recommend you try korean barbecue um in your life like you would not remain the same and it's healthy as well because it's just all protein um yeah so that is basically the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i hope to see you all in my next vlog god bless bye guys mm -hmm.